TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here. Yeah, this is the uh, Friday, the 4th of February, Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. Update, Dow's down 286 at 34,822. This is a deep red candle after yesterday's. Uh, and we're, we, we've got this repellent zone. You see this trend line right here, this little mini channel. Just can't get above it. By Tuesday or Wednesday, it's got to get back in and probably above it to the, about the 35,250 level. Uh, it's a big move, 600 points or more in the next couple of days. We actually see that intraday sometimes within minutes. So what we're looking at is uh, the 34,700 level really needs to hold. Otherwise, there's a test of the 200 period moving average of 34,567. Now, the S&P... Also down, down 15 at 44.61, was trying to rally better. It got repelled right at the 14-period exponential moving average. Um, here, the 44.55-ish area is intraday support. Otherwise, we're looking at a test of 44.06. That is the 200-period moving average. And look at this up channel. This, it's a sell mode in the weekly chart. Look, it's, it's way underneath this major up channel. Uh, and we're looking at the resistance now between 4.5, 50, 45.50 and 45.66 on any big rebound. Uh, well, 45, 4,600 would be really quite something if it can get there. In the meantime, back at the ranch, the QQQ, which had a Facebook smash yesterday and an Amazon pop to this morning, is only up 40 cents at 50, 53.90. Here, it's really important by, by midweek next week, at least to attempt the 363 level. It hasn't been there for a couple of days. It just got to try for that sell mode in the weekly chart. This is getting a little bit more serious. IWM is very serious because it's been in a sell mode for quite a while. And now that monthly chart is starting to act very poorly. So it re in February, there has to be some attempt at getting to the 210, 216 level or else the uh, Russell 2000 is in really serious trouble. Gold <coughs> gold got smacked down after the uh, jobs report this morning, and now it's come back nicely. It's unchanged at 1804. It's stuck in a range, but the big thing is, at what point do we see gold start to move into the 1828 area, 1835 area? If the dollar, which should have been a trigger for it to move much higher, I cannot get any uh, upside activity. It's at 95.55. Most importantly, crude oil is trading up sharply. It's up 2.43. And you've got the TLT down sharply. So yields are going higher. This is important. I'll be back for Larry Presidento's show. I'm subbing for him today. I can't do the same amount of work, but I'll be there at least before the hour. I'll be back in a moment.